well, same in the back row of uh, the Hyundai Alcantara, the second row rather. And I have to say that this is a very nice and premium place to be in. You get a couple of AC vents over here, USB charging point. You also get a place to keep your cell phone and wallet. You also get an AQI meter enabled air purifier. And of course, a big tray where you can easily eat that uh, Subway sandwich or that burger. And of course, then wrap up the things and keep it over here. At the moment, uh, there's a bottle over here, but you can of course keep two because it's a very huge uh, place over there as well. Uh, but that's not all. You can also use it to keep your mobile devices or your iPad or uh, Samsung tab because uh, there's a bit of a indent over here uh, that Hyundai has given you so that you can place it over here and see a movie or something like that if you're on a long distance journey. But apart from that, what you'll also like about these seats is the fact that you get your own uh, wireless charging for your mobile phone over here couple of beverage holders over here as well and there's a huge box where you can keep a lot of stuff at the moment we have uh, our transponder over here hidden away but it's a very deep one and also a very large one where you can keep those odds and the seats themselves are nice comfortable you can of course slide them all the way back uh, and uh, they are very comfortable and you can also take them forward and you can also change the backrest angle quite a bit uh, so you can sit like the boss and the door also has a very very big aperture the door opening is really huge which means that getting in and out of this car is not an issue at all, even for people who will be jumping in and out of the last row of seats. Overall, the Hyundai Alcazar deserves a double thumbs up from my side. And now talking about this car's looks, because looks are very important, this car from the front end looks like a Rolls Royce version of the Creta. Yes, it looks uh, more posh, more appealing, more luxurious than the Creta does. And a big part of that is, of course, because of the much more prominent and much more bolder grille that Hyundai has used on this car. Lots of chrome on it, lots of styling, and uh, it just stands out. The fog lamps are also different, and there are some tweaks on the bumper design as well uh, to make it look different from the Creta because uh, essentially it is based on the Creta platform but Hyundai wanted to differentiate both the cars. So yes, uh, the front end of this car, more luxurious, more upmarket, and as I just said, uh, looks like the Rolls Royce version of the Creta is on the road. What you will also appreciate about the car is the side profile, and I really do like the side profile. It's my favorite profile of the car. Uh, immediately what you'll notice is the length of the car when you see it from side on. Now this car is 4.5 meters in length, which is quite uh, long. The Creta is about 4.2 three meters almost 4.3 meters uh, so it is longer than the credit but the door at the back is the highlight when you see it from the side on you'll see it is a very wide door it's a very long door and it makes getting in and out of uh, the second row seats quite easy we'll talk about that in a bit but let's complete the looks part of the car first uh, what you'll also like on the side is the alloy wheel design I think it looks very cool uh, 18 inch alloy wheels on this car compared to the 17 inch uh, wheels on the Creta and that's because it has a much longer wheelbase and Hyundai also wants it uh, to have better road presence so I think these alloy wheels do justice to this car. Talking about the back, well uh, a lot of you have been telling me that this car looks uh, like the Tata Hexa from the back and you're not wrong, you are right. Uh, Hyundai has used a design which is very reminiscent of uh, the Tata Hexa so the back end of the car is something that uh, you might get a sense of deja vu with when you see it because it does remind you of uh, the Tata Hexa. But that's enough about the looks. I think that uh, the looks of the car are very well balanced. It uh, looks very mature, very proportioned and definitely looks like a very expensive car out there. Uh, it looks premium, it looks very posh and uh, I think it's uh, one of the highlights of this car. The looks are definitely strong on this one. Uh, talking about the boot of the car which is very important for a lot of people who will be travelling. 180 litres with all the three rows up, uh, which is quite good because uh, that's the best in this segment. But of course, you will have to drop one seat down if you're using the six-seater version because uh, 180 litres or only three or four bags isn't enough for six people. So you'll have to drop a seat down or adjust their luggage somewhere else. But 180 litres, but 180 litres is what it is with all three rows up. Well, so far in terms of looks, I think that this car is the best looking car in terms of the looks in this segment now. Uh, yes, the Tata Safari also is a good looking car, but the Tata Safari uh, looks more like an uh, off-roader car which will take out for off-road duties regularly, even though that car also doesn't get 4x4. Uh, but uh, yes, it'll remind you of an off-roader. This one looks like a luxury barge, it looks like a luxury yacht, and uh, I think 
that the Hyundai has done a fantastic job with the overall styling of this car. It looks balanced, it looks proportionate, it looks very appealing and definitely uh, it is a very special design and uh, a pleasant design and also design which looks luxurious. Now talking about it being a luxury barge, uh, what you truly appreciate about this car is the fact that the ride comfort of this car is truly exemplary. Yes, uh, it really does soak in the bumps very well. It's a very smooth car over those badly passive roads and uh, even when you're on the highway doing speeds in excess of 100 kph, uh, it does remain very solid and reassuring. Uh, the steering wheel though is quite light uh, but it does get some weight and it does add up in terms of uh, the highway speeds when you increase speeds a little bit of weight does add up but uh, Hyundai has tuned uh, this car more for comfort rather than for outright uh, handling and that's quite understandable because uh, SUVs really aren't uh, you know sports cars they really are uh, large cars which are meant for traveling with your entire family and in that sense Hyundai has tuned it more towards the side of comfort rather than towards the side of sporty handling. Now speaking of the ride comfort, uh, what is also quite comfortable is the last row of seats. Yes, uh, the last row of seats is surprisingly comfortable but only if you're about 5'6 or maybe 5'7 you will adjust into them. If you're about 5'9 or 5'10 or 5'11 like me, uh, then you will not uh, really be very happy for long distance journeys. But I guess all these cars in this segment are like that. They meant more uh, for average uh, adults in terms of the height. So you're about 5'6 or 5'7 you'll be quite okay in them. Now Hyundai has taken care of occupants even in the last row of seats. Uh, so you get your own AC vents, you get uh, three-way uh, speed control for the fan of the AC vents and of course you also get USB charging points over there because Hyundai thinks that the kids in the family will be sitting there and these days kids always have their own mobile devices or tablet devices so they always need that uh, battery juice. So kids, uh, Hyundai is taking care of you. Now if you talk about the front end of the cabin, as you would have seen in that uh, wide show that we showed, it is uh, a great place to be in. It really is a tech fest over here. This car is uh, loaded to the brim with technology and with features and gadgets and gizmos. And even the base version of the car, even the base version of the car come pretty well loaded. You only miss out on uh, some features like cool front seats and maybe wireless charging for a mobile phone. But apart from that, even the base versions are very well kitted out. So just a few features that I uh, want to talk about. You get completely digital display for the dials and Hyundai is the master of uh, digital displays. They make the best in the business and this one is really cool to look at. Uh, it changes color. It is a fantastic design, looks very sharp. The definition is very high. You get all the right information in it uh, like distance to empty, tire pressure monitors uh, and of course you get the trip computer as well. You also get an electronic uh, parking brake. You also get auto hold as well as front cool seats on this car and of course cruise control. Uh, but apart from that, you also get uh, blind spot assistance which means that uh, there is a camera in each of the side view mirrors and if you're turning right, then uh, the ref counter shows you what's happening over there on the right side of the car and if you're turning left, then uh, the speedometer which is on the left shows you some blind spots on that side of the car because there's a camera on that mirror as well. So fantastic technology good attention to detail and this is the kind of stuff that uh, just lifts the mood of uh, an owner of a buyer or some occupant inside the car because you just end up feeling uh, that you're sitting inside a very luxurious and posh car because of these thoughtful touches all across the cabin. Uh, now talking about the touchscreen, uh, Hyundai really are the masters of making the best in the business. Uh, it's a 10 inch touchscreen, uh, the menus, the fonts, uh, the overall uh, definition. Uh, the ease of operation, everything is absolutely first rate, it's absolutely brilliant and uh, pretty intuitive to use as well, not to say that it's not. Uh, you also get the Blue Link app and with the Blue Link app, you can do a host of uh, functions and features on this car just from your mobile phone and also just from your voice commands. You can uh, roll this window down using your voice command, uh, you can uh, turn off the AC, you can turn it up, you can also turn uh, something like a radio station on by simply using a voice command and of course you can turn the car on, you can turn the AC on uh, by simply using a mobile phone if you use that Blue Link app. Really the best system on any car uh, in this segment, it's better than the Tata Safari system, it's better 
than the MG Hector plus the system is better than the XV500 system. Now before I forget let me just mention again that uh, not only is this one a 10 inch touchscreen system but even the one in the middle the one with the gauges the uh, digital display for the gauges also 10 inches and uh, before I forget you get an air purifier with an AQI meter which is something that a lot of buyers who live in polluted cities uh, will truly appreciate because it definitely is something which uh, keeps you and your loved ones safe inside the car. Another feature which I truly like is the front cool seats. Another very nifty touch, especially on a hot and uh, muggy day like it is today. It's 44 degrees outside and it is quite warm and these seats really are cooling me very well. The materials used also are fantastic. Hyundai is the master of materials and uh, all the materials have a nice and soft touch to them. Uh, the buttons over here have a nice and tactile feel. Even the button over here, the rocker switch over here for the uh, cool front seats just has a nice feel about itself and feels like it's built to last and will age really well. And of course, this champagne brown color does lift the ambience of the car very well. You of course also get uh, 64 different settings for the mood lighting inside the car. Uh, so you can choose from a host of uh, colors, whatever is your mood, you can choose that color. And that also is something uh, which I think is very exclusive to this particular car in this segment. And overall, uh, the steering wheel is nice to grip, uh, the stocks are good to operate and you get nice uh, pedal shifters behind the steering wheel. And of course, talking about the pedal shifters, now let's talk about the performance of this car and the engine and the gearbox as well. Well, so now let's talk about the engine bits as well. The engine is not only good in terms of the overall refinement, but it's also pretty good in terms of responsiveness. And it starts responding from relatively low in the RPM band, which makes it a good car for driving in the city. Now, having six gears means that uh, overall flexibility of the motor is greatly enhanced. Uh, we were doing 100 kph on the highway, and the engine was spinning about uh, 1800 or 1900 RPM, which makes the cabin feel very relaxed and a relaxing place to be in. The engine also doesn't feel very stressed at that time. So that's something that buyers will really appreciate. What a lot of buyers will also appreciate is the fact that the steering wheel, even though it's light, it is pretty accurate. Yes, it's not the most sporty steering wheel in the business, but even then, these cars are not meant to be taken on the racetrack. And Hyundai has erred on the side of comfort, which is quite good. Uh, overall, I think in the driving bits, uh, I'll give it a double thumbs up. And definitely, Hyundai has done a very good job with the uh, overall gearbox, which is very smooth to operate. The gear shifts are very good. Uh, flappy pedals over here do their job very well. And of course, the engine refinement is supreme, even when you're revving the motor. Well, so what is my overall verdict of the car? What's my summary report for this car? I have to say that I have driven all the six and seven seater cars available in India in this segment. And I think that the Alcazar is right on top of them all. It offers you great sophistication. It offers you very good build quality, it offers you very good materials and it just feels like a very nice overall package. It just feels very well made, very well put together. And uh, the base version of this petrol engine car starts from about 16.30 lakh rupees X showroom which uh, is still very good value considering that it gets all the features. It only misses out on uh, a couple of things like uh, front cool seats but apart from that it gets the sunroof which kids will truly appreciate, the panoramic sunroof as well as this 12 volt charging socket have been offered. This wireless charging pad again is a standard feature across all trims. Now this being the platinum variant, you have no option of ventilated seats. So you can just take a look, you don't get the ventilated seat toggles over here, but the electronic parking brake as well as the auto hold function is something which has been offered in the manual trims of this car as well. Uh, and even the versions which uh, are you know towards the higher end like this one uh, for about uh, 19 lakh rupees even this one is pretty well kitted out so i think value for money wise uh, what you get what you pay for you get more than that you get lots of features uh, i think it justifies the price also of this car and uh, hyundai has done a fantastic job overall i think you should just go ahead and buy the hyundai alcazar if you're in the market for a six or seven seater uh, premium suv in india Uh, do you think that I should uh, talk about some other things and maybe change the format of my videos now and do something else? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, 
do let me know in the comments how you felt about the video and if you have watched it till the end uh, don't leave without subscribing and also hit that bell icon so you receive all our notifications first it's bye for now and thanks so much for watching